up guys it's alan with garage gym fanatics today we're going to be comparing the rogue j cup versus the elite fcs j cup okay so right now we have both the j hooks laid out <clears throat> now i just want to compare um the tip of the j on both of them on the lead FTS one, um, can't see it very well, but it's about an inch from right here, this mark right here, and to the top of the J. And the Rogue one, it's about an inch as well. Okay, so for this review, we're not going to be focusing on the UHMW uh, at this level. They both have issues with UHMW touching the tip of the J. What we're really going to focus on is simply the tip of the J and really understanding why I think the lead FTS is better because the Rogue is at an angle and this one's just straight up. Now the distance is very minimal for most people. They'll never notice the difference, but if we're being technical, it does matter. You come here, lift, you're out. Now when you set it up, put the bar down, you roll it forward, you notice it gets rid of most of this motion, but if we're being super technical, once again, I repeat, this is a really minimal thing, but for the people who are really into gym equipment, you'll see that there's actually about, you can't really see on my measuring tape more, but I would say a quarter of an inch before you actually start going over the thickness, which is just the, the gauge of the steel. And that's the difference between a Rogue and a Lead SSJ hook. 